right, coming with you with a vlog. Um, so, fishing a tournament this weekend. Um, storms were coming. I was trying to fish in between the cells. Thought I'd just run out here to this uh, pond, get, get on the lake. Sure enough, I see a decent sized bass. Um, throw out that uh, jackal gantron. If you ever seen that thing, it is mesmerizing. So, God, it's hot in here. Remind me to get the AC fixed in this thing. So anyway, throw the bait out there. It does this little wave action. I see that bass come up, nab it, jerk it into his face. You'll see that in the video. Great. Get him on board. You know, it's got uh, three sets of treble hooks on it. So nine total hooks for those who don't fish. You know, I'm getting all the, the hooks out of its face. I go to get the last hook out of its face. And he decided that, you know, he want, him and I were going to be blood brothers. Man, he jerked and he jerked that owner treble hook and if you've not felt an owner treble hook I don't care what they say about who has the sharpest hook in the industry owner hooks will own you and oh my god um, it's not so bad now I mean you can kind of see where it went in uh, yeah we're talking full barb and everything I mean the and uh, and the fish was still attached so that was fun and to make matters worse when he jerked the hook into me, I jerked and threw my pliers into the water. So now it's like, son of a, you know what? So, um, I had two options. Uh, try to figure out how to get all the other remaining hooks out of the fish's face without getting more hooked, or just man up. Well, I man up and I pulled that thing out with my bear, with my fingers. No tying monofilament, pushing down on the head and popping it out. Nope, just manned up and pulled that sucker out. So, uh, can't wait to see the footage. Hope you enjoy it. And um, next time, in, uh, when the thunder's above your head, it's time to get off the, the pond. Saw the bass swim by me, so I threw out my Jackal Gantrel Jr. just past him. Started working it back to entice him. He eventually sees it and turns. So then I start giving these little slight twitches that you see there. And that just mesmerizes him and gets him to come up and boom. Get the hook set. I'm going to make an attempt to get this hook out of the fish's face. Now with the hook in my thumb, I don't want the fish to flop again, so I have to pull out the hook with my fingers. Now I'm desperately looking for my pliers to get the rest of the hooks out of the net and out of the fish, not realizing that I dropped them in the pond. Thankfully I was a good boy scout and was extra prepared and I had an extra set in my hatch. Getting hooked and everything and he wasn't even an upgrade. On a happy note, I did find my pliers, but it looks like I'm going to have to jump in for them. 